in this video we're going to talk about how to use LinkedIn groups to add uh, new people that you don't know already to your social media contacts. So the first thing we're going to do is log into LinkedIn and we're going to, uh, this will be your homepage, and we're going to go to uh, the search feature. You're going to drop it down here and you're going to search for groups. Now we're adding groups today and that's how we're going to um, we're going to find new people. So <clears throat> you want to add groups that um, one, you have some kind of um, connection or affiliation with and two, um, that have a large amount of people in them already. So, <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is search for groups. So I'm going to search for something that I um, know something about. So um, let's say social media and it says groups about social media, that's what I want. Okay, so here are our results. There's 16,209 results for social media and some of these I'm already in. Um, it's like this one ha I'm already in, I'm a member of and it just says post here. Um, but I wanted to show you how many group members are in this group. So there's 900,000 uh, group members so that's definitely a huge pool of people uh, that I'm now uh, connected to in this group um, that I can reach out to and invite uh, without LinkedIn um, blocking me. You only have a certain amount of connections you can make if you don't already have some other kind of connection to the person. So um, that's why we use groups to add people to, um, to our LinkedIn connections. So what um, you're going to do is you're just going to look for one that you can join. And this one looks kind of interesting. There's a lot of people in it. You want to look for something that has over, I would say, probably over 5,000 um, members. So this one has 38,000, so that's fine. So I'm going to click Join. And you'll see here this green bar. And what this means is that this is a, um, a group that doesn't, it's not an open group, it doesn't just allow anyone to join. So there's somebody that looks at, um, you know, my profile and they say, okay, well, you know, it would be appropriate for you to join this group. So that's fine. Um, some of them are open and uh, those are actually really great to join because um, you can just get started immediately. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through and add, um, groups to your profile and you can see I have 50 groups here. I just maxed out my um, my group number. You can only have 50 groups um, on your profile. Um, otherwise it'll tell you you need to drop some and add some more or to, to add some more. So um, now I'm going to show you how to search your, your um, groups for people that you know. Um, so first thing you're going to do here is um, you're going to search for people because now we're looking to add connections and um, you're going to search for uh, people by you know job title um, or location something like that so I'm going to put in hairstylist just because that's a demographic I'm going to try to branch out into so click hairstylist and a whole list of people shows up. Um, now you'll notice that these connections or these these people say second and what that means is this is a second connection. I don't um, I'm not currently connected to this person but I do have somebody that knows this person so um, it says one shared connection so I can click that and see who that person is. Um, now the old school uh, traditional way of making connections on LinkedIn is I would have to write uh, this person here and ask for an introduction and then he would write Marie and he would ask her to um, uh, to have a conversation with me it's it's an invitation um, uh, system and a lot of people um, would use that more for like strategic partnerships um, or for references um, 
or referrals, I guess, for um, people who, you know, like you're, you have a contract and you're trying to um, find somebody that's going to work well with your business. Um, it's not really necessary for, um, for our, for what we're trying to do. We're trying to connect to as many people as possible as quickly as possible. So, um, that old introduction style way of making connections on LinkedIn is not what we want to do. What we want to do is go through our groups. So you can see here um, on the relationship tab that um, I have zero hairstylists that are first connections to me. I have 485 that are second connections like these here. Um, but then I have 2,584 hairstylists that are in the same groups that I'm in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter here, click that, and it'll um, basically show me results of people that um, are now in my groups. You can um, filter it even more and I would recommend doing this um, because you want to have um, like if these people were to get in business with you or become customers they would be um, your first line and you don't want to be traveling to you know LA or something to um, to work with somebody who uh, would join out there. So um, just for getting started, you want to search for somebody close to you. So I'm going to search the Washington DC metro area because that's where I am. And now you'll see that there are 65 people in uh, the DC area. So what I'm going to do is just go through and click connect. And if you get one of these screens, the best thing to do is to get rid of this and type in a personal note that says, you know, hi, Elizabeth, um, you know, I'm a small business owner in uh, Washington, D.C., and I would like to um, connect with other people in the city, and I was hoping that we could connect on LinkedIn. Something that's more personal um, not just the stock per this note here uh, that they give you already you just want to use something that's that sounds like you're not being you know creepy and you want to take a little bit of time to do it uh, just because you want to sound professional make sure it's it, you know everything is spelled correctly and you use proper grammar um, and uh, then you can just send the invitation um, and you can just do this like person after person after person you can use the same um, you can use the same email the same wording here you can just copy and paste that um, if it requires you to do that and that's fine um, what will end up happening is you'll um, you'll start getting people uh, who are connecting to you so then uh, you want to have another email prepared that just says Thank you for connecting with me on LinkedIn. Um, you know, uh, you don't want to launch into a, your product immediately, but you do kind of want to start a, a dialogue. I found that asking questions about what they do and um, uh, where they are, uh, if you are um, reaching out to like hairstylists, you know, how many people are in your, you know, how many hairstylists do you normally work with? Like, you know, you can ask all sorts of questions uh, to get a conversation going and then you can introduce your business at that point um, so um, you can also do um, network uh, marketing as a group and um, and see because a lot of times um, people are looking to to diversify even within their network marketing businesses so they're looking for to add something else that doesn't conflict that would be a group that you could join Okay, so that's basically how you um, and, you know add new people to LinkedIn. You can add as many people as you can manage um, keeping up with. So um, 20 is probably a really good starting place. Add 20 people a, a day and see what kind of response you're getting. And then that's a manageable number to be able to, to write back and follow up with. Because the worst is when you um, you have a whole bunch of people you're connected to, and you can't keep up with how many people you have, um, and and keep your your conversations going. So 20 is about a good number uh, to shoot for every day, 
and that will um, will continue to grow your connections um, so that you're not having to um, or if you physically don't want to go out and um, and contact a whole bunch of people um, on the street you can uh, strike up conversations online and uh, meet new people that way so so there's a follow-up video to this um, it's how to con to contact your LinkedIn connections through an email service that's outside of LinkedIn so I'm going to show you how to uh, pull your um, contact information off of LinkedIn so what you're going to do is you're going to go up to connections and you're going to keep in touch and over here there is um, this little settings button I'm going to click on that now you can see I have uh, 542 contacts so what I'm going to do is export LinkedIn con connections I'm going to click that and I want to export it to um, either of these CSV files that's a comma separated value it basically just means that um, that it will export it to an Excel spreadsheet but it's an Excel spreadsheet that can be read by other um, email uh, providers so like Microsoft Outlook Express um, or um, just the regular Outlook or even Yahoo um, that's the just the kind of the standard um, uh, just so that the email programs can talk to each other and the email program that I'm going to show you syndicate um, needs a CSV file so you just click that and you click export and you just have to tie uh, to say that yes you are a human being and um, click continue and then it will give you a place to uh, download your program or your um, your file so you just click save and then you're done um, the next video will actually show you how to import that into the program um, but this is the the first step in making that transition so I uh, hope that helps and good luck in all of your connections